What's up guys, today we are watching the season 4 finale of Peaky Blinders. So, last episode was a bit. Like, Changretta and his men went after Tommy, but you know, didn't successfully kill him as they should. Like, Tommy's hard to kill, in a way. But, after that, Changretta went to Tommy's bestie, you know, Alfie, and was trying to get him to like, help him kill Tommy. And, you know, Alfie being Alfie, he was making it difficult for them. Not only, like, just because that's him, but because Tommy is also a good friend of his. So, you know, I don't really know how that would work. But with the way the episode ended and, like, Alfie coming up, I'm kind of, like, skeptical to see if, like, Alfie came alone and, like, is, like, going to stay Tommy's friend and help him or if he came with Changretta's people and is going to help them kill Tommy. I'm really hoping it's the first option because Tommy's then going to kill Alfie and I don't want that to happen. I love Alfie. I love their friendship. Forget Changretta, dude. But I want to see what's going to happen with that. So I guess let's get into the episode. Where the viaduct looms like a bird of doom as it shifts and cracks why is it taken off from here and not just from the point of where alfie came out so we came alone okay hell yeah alfie in the world when before you could only touch it or smell it. There it is. Don't tell me he's about to justify his actions for like what he's about to do. I need to buy myself some time. You're moving to Margate? I am actually, yeah. I need to get myself some rest. I need some rest. So he's... Okay, so he's going off. Out there, between big and small. Big will fuck small. Are you sure about that though? I already know who wins. Don't I? I swear, if this is the last time we see Alfie, I quit. You feel it though, Tom the Jack. I feel it, but all right. We're surrounded by soldiers, Arthur. Alfie's men were strip searched. We're all right. I'm really hoping that's true. And someone didn't somehow sneak in or whatever. <laughs> Was that just the smaller dude who did that to the bigger dude he's getting his punches in what did tommy say when you told him he said i'd get a weekly allowance a week i totally forgot that she told tommy about that okay right you said you had some news lizzie has some news holly well tell her now while the men are screaming for blood so she didn't want to say anything to anyone. <laughs> How can you tell by touching her boobs? It's a girl. Ruby Shelby. She'll be a star in a Hollywood movie. Hmm. If she ends up being right, I'm gonna be surprised. Family, Lizzie's got some news. I'm pregnant. Oh, and who's the father of you? Managed to narrow it down. Damn, Linda, that's petty. Yes. Then take him. I don't know who I think is going to win. Like, I low-key want to root for 
the dude that Tommy's been training or like has been getting trained. But then I don't know. Sometimes he keep, the other dude seems kind of smug, so it's hard to tell who I want to win. Fuck are they laughing at? <laughs> Let them be in the front row and have their fun. <laughs> Is someone really about to die because of Arthur's hunch? But then it's like, what if Arthur's right? I, I can't tell if he's right or not. Or if he's just like not in his right mind right now. So he's just overthinking it. Maybe Arthur was onto something because that dude just left. Which is why Tommy's getting up. So he was right. Okay. Arthur better not fucking be dead. He better just be passed out. I low-key think he's dead because his eyes are open right now, but he's not doing anything. Okay, he's dead. Are you telling me another Shelby dies in the- Mmm. This is the second Shelby that died this season. We can't even enjoy the fact that Bonnie won because Arthur is fucking dead. He doesn't want to let Polly see his body. It's like, how do you tell people that happened right during that moment? As he should. Like, no mercy on that bitch. You killed Arthur. Fuck them. How is he gonna find, like, who else is involved? They didn't seem to be, like, talking to anyone else, really. There's no one- there's literally no one left in the trio. It's usually Tommy, fucking Arthur, John. Arthur and John died in the same fucking season. Hello, Michael. There's been a change of plan. Mr. Gold, come and get you. Arthur's dead. I forgot Michael was freaking gone. Shit. So they're bringing him back. I think. I think that's what they just said in a way. Will I be coming back? Train leaves in an hour, Michael. So I guess it means Michael's not coming back. You knew I was going to be shot. And you chose not to tell me. I chose my mom. That is fucking bullshit. Like, again, I thought you were going to tell him, but you didn't.
I didn't think that they were going to do the same thing that they did for John. But they are. Please. Once we're finished. Who is that? Perhaps. You took my husband and my son. We took two of your brothers. Ooh. Oh, so that's who it is. Or my son will kill you all. One by one. Oh, that's just one. Is he really gonna sign everything over? So was this Tommy's plan to just give in? I didn't think Tommy was that kind of person, but I mean, after everything he's been through. Mr. Solomons, Mr. Changrat is yet to see you. Leave my man Alfie alone. Why do you need him anymore? Y'all are basically done. Y'all don't have to kill Tommy anymore. It seems Mr. Solomon's already left town. So all of this is mine. Oh wait, yeah, I forgot Alfie planned on leaving, so he was gonna bomb that place if they went after him. No one knows where he went besides like Tommy, right? I think that was only like the only person who told. What if Alfie is somewhat included in his plan? Like if like giving up isn't Tommy's plan. What is Alfie gonna do? Lady Jengretta is coming to Birmingham. It's our turn. He's already taken over Alfie Solomons, Sabini, Titanics, all of them. Shit. So, yep, they're coming to take control of them. This is fucking bullshit. Why do they need the guns if they're just willingly going to give it up? You don't need nothing. To my family. You act as if this man don't already fucking know. You don't have to pull this bullshit. Especially don't trust this bitch. I swear I wouldn't be mad at Polly if she decked you in the fucking face right now. Don't fucking do that. Sign them on your knees on the floor. He really pisses me off. In a way, I feel like he's too cocky. But it's like, does he also have the right to be? A friend of mine once said, ah, Big fuck small. You may know there are two families in Brooklyn who want to take over your monopoly on the import of liquor into New York. That's why he sent... That's why he sent Michael there. Okay, look at him using Alfie's words, though. Mr. Changretta and these men here, they work for money for the highest bidder. They now have new orders. No way. You, oh God. So now change of ownership in a way. Now they work for him. See, 
so it was kind of funny to see him be all cocky and shit until Tommy turned shit around. No one was doing anything and I was like confused why they weren't even helping Tommy. Wait, so my man Arthur isn't dead? We need to make them believe that he's dead. To everyone. Yes. I am happy my man is not dead. Okay, I love you, Arthur. I'm glad you're awake. Like, you're alive. Let Arthur kill him, yes. To win this war. Period. Bye bye, dude. Uh, so, not another shall be gone this season. I am happy. Boss, what you saw here today. Tell him. You don't fuck with the Peaky Blinders. Period. But where have where have they been keeping Arthur? It's where he's been like out of sight from everyone. Like I guess keeping him in a house would do that, but I thought it would have to be somewhere more secure. You words I wanna say from the art. And this time you're gonna let me finish, Tommy. Oh yeah he is. Let's see. Tommy's offered me a way out. A new identity. Start a whole new life for myself. No way. I made a decision. I ain't fucking going nowhere. <laughs> I look, he thought he was going to because of Linda, but it's sweet that he's staying. But Tommy here, take some time off. Time you took a holiday, Tom. Put your feet up. He definitely should get time off since he's always working. But it's like, what is he gonna go do? Where does he wanna go? Is he gonna go visit that lady that was here like a, a couple episodes ago? I do hope you're going to leave the dog out of this. You were easy to find. Yeah, well, there's a good reason for that, Tommy. Oh, no. I thought he was just going to visit Alfie, but the way he just said that, it seems like he's there to kill him. So Alfie gave him up? No. All right, then. Well, his name is Cyril, and he will be very upset and distressed, so you'll need to find him someone. You're not armed? I swear, what if... What if he keeps the dog? The only thing I got on me is fucking cancer, mate. So he was sick. Fucking get on with it and stop acting like a little girl. Oh, so you shoot each other. Why? I thought Alfie was just gonna let it be, but the thing is, he shot Tommy somewhere else, and Tommy shot him in the face. And it kind of looked like it just grazed his face, but I think it just went into his cheek or something. So yeah, he's dead. Man, I loved Alfie. And he's leaving the dog. That's traumatic for the dog. Okay, now we're going in three months in the future. Let's go. <laughs> this is what happens when you give Tommy time off. It's like low key, we think he needs it, but then once he has like nothing to do, what else is he gonna think about? Like he's gonna be in his head about everything. So he doesn't seem to be doing good, even with his time off. Mm. 
What about his kid? Where's his kid? I spoke too soon and he came in to see him like that. Yeah, it's all right. None of the boys know you're sick. <sighs> Not sick, Polly. I thought she was about to literally say he has a sickness now. And I'm just like, are you kidding me? Like, we just found out Alfie had one, like, had a sickness. Lizzie wants to see you. No. Tom, she's showing. I want to see Lizzie, Paul. And that's kind of fucked up, but... You're going through a thing, and maybe you just don't want her to see you like that. I've learned something, Francis. There's no rest for me in this world. Even when he tries to take it, he can't. But then again, it's like, it's, I think it's kind of better that he has shit to like focus his mind on now so he's not constantly in his head. Yes, Mr. Shopman. By your hand. I see the last job you'll do for me. Go to Glasgow, be with your family. You're free. That's sweet of him. Okay, go Tommy. Oh. I've had an idea. Ah, oh, fuck. Do we get to know the idea before the episode ends? Your cause is not my cause. I want to help. I didn't know he was going to straight up kiss her. I thought he was done with like romanticizing with her even though he... Because it seemed like he didn't want to. It's like, does he actually want to now? I thought he liked Lizzie. What if she ends up pregnant, so then Tommy's gonna have another kid with a different woman? Maybe not. I was just thinking since like, what's her name? Lizzie got pregnant. What if she got pregnant? You know? If my COVID is maintained, I can begin to shape the movement, organize it myself. And undermine it. So that's why he's still with Jesse. Breaking up a revolutionary cell is one thing. Given my position of influence in my home city, I can be of much more use to you than that. What? What's his condition thing? Oh my God! They. He did not get himself put on that shit. Oh my god. That's why dude was so surprised. Okay. Ross, communist, 6,406. Did, so. Labour Party, 48,564. Lizzie had her, her baby, and it is a girl, like Polly said. God damn, okay. I swear, so much time has gone past again. Cause like, since the baby was born. But like, so much has happened this episode. Like it seemed like everything went by so fast. And with that ending scene, it felt weird seeing Lizzie there. Because, you know, I'm always going to be Team Grace even when she's no longer here. But that's besides the point. I'm just... Where do I start with this episode? We thought Arthur was dead. I was mad. I was sad. 
and then he comes back because they faked his death like thank you but also you didn't have to put me in emotional distress because of it but then it was a good like plan because I wouldn't have thought that he would just show up out of nowhere seeing him surprised me and you know what I think it was fitting that Arthur was the one that killed Changretta I'm glad Changretta's dead it's like so many of the villains so far in this show I call them villains but antagonists I guess most of them or maybe all of them have ended up dead at the end of basically every season or maybe not even the end but usually because I'm pretty sure last season the preacher dude died by the end of the like by the end of the season so that dude freaking Luca Changretta this uh this season what's his name Campbell Camp Campbell I don't care about how pronouncing his name anymore you know who I'm talking about even though he didn't seem to be too much of a villain until like stuff started happening more with Polly but now even Polly looks like she's been doing better and you know what in that ending scene I don't think I saw Michael and since it's been long that that means Michael is still in New York and they were talking about him not coming back so like I didn't think that they were really not gonna like let Michael come back like is that gonna be the last we see of Michael I kind of hope not because point of his character is like so he came back since that's Polly's son like I would hate if that would be the last time we saw him but he did what he did so but you know what I'm really mad about Alfie and you see I was kind of confused like at first whenever I saw Alfie like I thought um what's his name Tommy was going to visit Alfie and then I heard them talking and then I'm like oh crap he's not there to visit you he's there to kill you and I'm just like I didn't think he did you wrong but then I think about it yeah what's his name Alfie left he said it's like him and Tommy talked he said he was gonna retire he went off I was like okay fine and dandy and it didn't pass my mind that Alfie actually did bring in Changretta's people because that's how Arthur died and like I just didn't connect that so fast and I was confused like that's why I was confused as to why Tommy was going to kill him but now I get it because he let them in and you know what I love Alfie I loved Alfie and it just pissed me off that he turned his back like that on Tommy like I thought you were besties you gonna do that to your friend like come on but then again and wait what's it called I was right whenever like throughout the season whenever I saw him he wasn't looking too well so I thought he was sick and I ended up being right he ended up having cancer and it's like I'm surprised but also not surprised like poor Alfie like that's probably that's why he was going on his retirement in the first place because he knew something was bound to happen sooner or later but then you know his retirement ended shortly because he went bye bye and I'm still kind of sad that um Tommy left his dog Loki I thought Tommy would have taken the dog with him but I guess he has no reason to but I'm just sad that that was Alfie's last episode like I didn't think he would die so soon but it's also like I didn't think he would change up so quickly because again I thought they were friends and last episode he made it hard to like plan that how he would help them kill Tommy but then he actually did end up helping him like helping them in a way so he got his fate he died he did because of Tommy <sighs> no more Tom Hardy I loved his character so much and I'm sad we're not gonna see him again but sorry Alfie 
no one else told you to switch up on Tommy like that. And you know what? If you didn't, Tommy would have still been fine in a way. Arthur ended up not being dead anyway, so it's like, you would have been fine and Tommy wouldn't have went after you. But you know what? You did what you did and now you're dead. So, you had that fate because of what you did. I am just... Now I'm kind of confused. Now that I'm thinking about it. With this ending scene, I saw, what's her name? Jesse Eden there. But you know, Lizzie was up front with Tommy and their kid. Is Jesse Eden, like, his mistress in a way? Like, I don't want to say Tommy and Lizzie got married, but it's like, is he still, like, being romantic and shit with her to get in to all his stuff? Or actually, now he doesn't even really have to since he's been elected. So I don't know. I didn't know if they were still, like, hooking up or not, because I would say that's fucked up. And the way that her and Lizzie looked at each other, I don't even know what to think. It was some kind of look, and I don't know how to place it. But there's too much happened this episode. There was, like, too much of time jumps. Because we go from, like, three months to, like, over a year later, most likely, since, like, the baby was born and the baby looks about one or a little younger i don't know i can't place the age of that kid but i swear watch whenever we start season five there is going to be another big ass time jump if there well maybe not but then probably because he's gonna have to start doing shit since he's elected i don't know I don't know what to expect of next season. Like, they didn't leave it on, like, that much of a cliffhanger. Like, they do, like, some of the other seasons. This one, we just know that he got elected and everything. So, it didn't really set us up for any new kind of villain, antagonist, or whatever in the next season. And I just want to know what's going to happen with all of that. What other shit's going to go wrong. So, I guess, come back for season five? 